Okay folks, welcome back to Wooden Tool Man's channel and welcome back to my shop. So you guys that have been following, um, you guys know the routine. This is just the first video. All I'm going to do is just talk about uh, just how I plan on doing this. Just kind of brainstorm here for a minute in front of the camera. And then uh, the next little few videos you'll see this thing start to come together. So uh, my plans for the drill press, you know, rather than trying to mount a drill to a slide which I think would just be a waste of time. Uh, what I've actually done is bought this heavy duty chuck here. And uh, you know, probably a lot of you are thinking, oh, that would be expensive. But you know what, folks? This thing was under 20 bucks. It was like $15 plus the tax, and uh, they had tons of them there uh, to pick from. So this one, what I actually bought was, is one that will actually take a 5.8 uh, drill bit. And you know, I wanted one that would take a big bit. There's nothing worse than, you know, putting something in this and it doesn't fit and that's the problem with this one it only takes I believe a half inch or 3 8 uh, which wasn't near big enough and you know the other problem is is with this drill press it doesn't it's not near deep enough from front to back here it's only about five inches that's not near deep enough and the other thing is the travel I've only got about two and a half inches of travel which is not near enough and even getting rid of this table turning it off the side it's not near big enough for what I want now I want something if I want to put something to foot high underneath this thing. I want to be able to put something a foot high and if I want to drill a four inch hole through it, I want to be able to drill a four inch hole through it. So that's what I'm going to try to get accomplished with just a few parts really. Uh, so you know the first thing I've got here is this $15 uh, chuck for, for a drill press and uh, you know so the problem with this was it has actually has a tapered hole here. There's no threads in this so I couldn't just thread it on to a bolt or anything but uh, my plan is because I can put a 5.8 bolt, which I would really want to use as a shaft too, a 5.8 shaft, I'm just going to be able to put it, you know, so it goes right through this thing, tighten it up like I was tightening up a drill bit, and then, you know, this thing comes perfectly centered in the back here. As you can see, there's a space around it. So then what I'm going to be able to do is actually just be able to put a nut on this thing, and then I'm just going to weld it in place so that once that was welded in place, you know, I'd be able to loosen off my, my chuck, screw this thing out, like so and then just go from the other end screw it in place put another nut so I can lock it in place and then that'll give me my shaft with my chuck hooked to it and then I've got these little 5-8 bearings that I'm going to be able to you know run through a wooden block obviously and then I just got to figure out a way to get it going up and down got to figure out a way to get my table so it moves up and down and able to turn you know at least tilt uh, and then uh, and then you guys will have to keep tuning in, and you'll see more of this come together. So hopefully you guys are having fun, and we'll see you next time. 